Welcome to your neighbour spoilers for next week, 12th to the 16th of October 2020, and love is in the air on Ramsey Street. All of the couples are getting on brilliantly. Oh, wait, no, they're not. Every relationship is falling apart. Well, okay, three of them, but there's still quite a lot. Here's your neighbour spoilers for next week. All is not well between Chloe and Pierce. The couple are grieving from their recent loss, but unfortunately they are not grieving together. Pierce is feeling that Chloe is getting further and further away from him, whereas Chloe admits to Faye that she's having trouble actually relying on Pierce. She doesn't feel that she can talk to him for whatever reason, but hopefully they'll sort things out. Unfortunately though, it doesn't seem like they will. Faye's headed back to Adelaide, but before she goes, she has something that she wants to say to troublesome Nicolette. As for Chloe and Pierce, they head to a cookery class run by Dippy in the hopes that it'll help them get back on the same page. Unfortunately, this cooking class requires them to have good communication, which has never been their strong suit, and the cracks are showing more than ever. Not just for them, as Shane turns up to the cookery class too and makes a bit of a dick out of himself. Dip is annoyed with him, Pierce is annoyed with him, and to make it even worse, Pierce ends up leaping to Dippy's defence. The couples try to work through their issues, but for Shane and Dippy, this leads to them both saying some pretty horrible things that they wish they could take back. And Pierce, looking for Chloe in the hope that they can sort things out, finds her with Nicolette instead and is left feeling very despondent. This leads to Dippy and Pierce spending some time together, which in turn leads to them getting a little bit smoochy. Feeling guilty, they turn their heads back to their marriages and Dippy ends up being a lot more forgiving with Shane than she was before, whereas Pierce hopes he can use this mistake to propel a fresh start for him and Chloe. Unfortunately though, even though things look like they're a little bit better, Chloe soon says that she's going to go off to Adelaide and make sure that Faye's settling in, and she doesn't want Pierce to go with her. Both relationships seemingly on the rocks, and with a kiss recently shared between Pierce and Dippy, are things going to get more heated between Pierce and Dippy, and will this be the end for all of these marriages? And speaking of relationships on the rocks, let's spend some time with Ned and Yashvi now. Scarlett is still on the scene and making Ned's life a misery. Don't forget that she wants a painting done there first so she can give to her ex, who we all think is probably made up, and that picture was photoshopped. But Ned just wants Scarlett out of his life as quickly as possible, which is understandable because, you know, she stabbed him. And he tries to rush through the painting, which just pisses her off. He then realises that time's running out and he needs to tell Yashvi the truth, but when he reveals everything to Yashvi, including how much he revealed of himself with his friend Dingle Dangle Dongle, she is shocked by his actions and it seems that their relationship could also be in danger of falling apart. He asks for some reassurance that this isn't the end for them, but Yashvi is not able to give it. Is this the end for Ned and Yashvi now? There's still more going on with Rose, and Mackenzie is starting to take pity on her. Knowing what kind of precarious situation that she's in, and hearing from Toady that Rose is going to be taking a court settlement that does not work out well in her favour, she starts drip feeding her information that could help her case. But in doing so, she's betraying the confidentiality that Toady has with his client and put in their careers on the line for her. Is Mackenzie going to live to regret helping Rose out? Levi is still fuming at Sheila, again, because she used Clive's laptops to change his results. Not happy at her interference, it's up to Nicolette to step in and try and play peacemaker between the two of them, making sure that Levi knows that Sheila did what she did out of love. But with Sheila having a habit of continually crossing the line for her family, is this going to be the time where she doesn't get forgiven? Speaking of Nicolette, she also rumbles Carl and Jane's storage hoarding thing that they have going on. Susan's demanded that they take everything to charity, and she is fuming when she finds out that they didn't. She once again tells them to go and give it all to charity right now, and when they pretend they do, they're actually smuggling it over the road to number 32. But when Nicolette sees it, she wants in. How's Carl going to feel when he finds out he's going to be getting less money? Not well, he's Carl, and how's Susan going to react when she finds out that they haven't listened to her at all? So there your neighbour supporters are for next week. Let us know what you're looking forward to in the comments below, and what you're not, and what you think of the show at the moment. Let's just talk everything neighbours in these neighbours video comments. Look out too for your spoilers for EastEnders and Coronation Street. More interviews for neighbours on the way soon as well. Sorry this is my problem for not doing it sooner, because, you know, baby on the way, things are busy. But one is coming soon. Thank you for watching, thank you for listening, and we'll see you on the next video. Oh,